control but to move. Some of our biggest problems when we hand fight, it's like we know what we need to do to move the guy, but like when we really try to start moving them and they resist, then we kind of give up on it, okay? Because it feels like I'm wasting a lot of energy and I'm not getting a lot of results. So we got to start finding like that core chunk of things that we really are effective with. You don't have to be effective with a thousand things, but if you can be effective with an underhook or a Russian or a good, good like Steiner tie, okay, me and my head on the same side as my collar and really able to move this guy around and create openings, it can pay a lot of dividends for you, okay? So remember, shoulder on top, elbows are always glued to my ribs. I talked this about a lot yesterday, but when my arms get away from my ribs, really, really tough. So even when I'm punching in, elbows are glued. When I'm pulling down, elbows are pretty close. When I'm off balance in here, elbows are glued. Even when I drag, elbows are tight. I'm not dragging with my elbows real far away from my body. Now a lot of times we get to this drag, this guy will run out, right? And we come right back to this tie. I'm dragging, he squares out and come right back to this tie, okay? I didn't, maybe I drop in for a, a fireman's here at the openings there. But just because this guy runs out of my drag right here doesn't mean I don't have anything. I can come right back to the front head and snap down. Okay? So don't just bail on your rushing as this guy makes adjustment. Now, we're gonna we're gonna push and pull with this rushing and move them around. I really like this kind of off balance right here because it whips them out in front. And all I'm doing is just I'm not hyper extending the elbow, I'm just pulling my elbow back to my ribs and I'm pressuring my chest in a little bit and I'm leaning tough right here on the top of his shoulder. As he starts to rotate out and square a little bit, I'm just gonna rotate my head through, boom, drop both knees flat, okay? I'm clamping hard, punching, not with my hand, my hand doesn't do anything here. I just punch with my shoulder, punch with my shoulder. Just pop them off. Listen to the heartbeat. Right here, make sure I get my count and then look for my finish, all right? So it's my rushing. We'll talk about how all we're gonna get here. Man, it's easy to get. I can just post right here, he grabs my wrist, rotate down, right into my rushing. Then just change my palm. When you guys are palm down, it's not wrong. I just feel way stronger pulling, curling right here. So pushing, shoveling snow, off balance. Right into my... Make sure we listen to that heartbeat so we can't turn in and we can't turn away. Then we adjust here. Okay? But it's literally a drop. I'm dropping. Boom. Flat on my knees. I'm not stepping through. I'm not penetrating. I'm literally just dropping straight down to my knees. Pressure in, shoveling snow, whipping them out, and then I'm dropping. Head through the hole. Boom. Flat on my laces. Pop in the shoulder. I'll come up super tall. I don't need to be up this, block, this high. I can just dip, pop, right there. Okay, you'd be surprised how quick they'll fall over. Question. I need to see it again. Pretty simple. Okay. We'll start getting to, you know, we just pop that rush off. Pressure. Pressure. Punch, punch, punch. Pull. Pop it out. Listen to that heartbeat. Partner, every time they get you here, turn into them. So we gotta use our head. So we get used to fighting that position until we can get back and switch to our finish right there. Really get your head in the way. Partner, every time turn into them so we can keep them on their back. I see so many people hit beautiful dumps or beautiful firemen and give away three points because we're not heading in the right position. Good? 